Pinstriping is a, a decorative line art. It's been around for late 1800s. It's been uh, used for decoration in tool chests and wagons and really made its way uh, onto the scene in like a time with wagons and really nice decorative things. Like you still see pinstriping in wagons in New York and Central Park. The guys who modernized it uh, brought it into the hot rod scene in the late 30s, early 40s in Los Angeles and parts of Northern California when they started uh, painting cars for decoration. The original pinstriper that everybody refers to is Von Dutch and Von Dutch is the one who's credited to modernizing pinstriping and making it the way you see it now. But the way he created it, there was a lot of scratches on this on this guy's car and he wanted to cover it up without having to repaint the entire car. So Von Dutch started following the scratches on the hood and painting lines over the scratches and it made a, a funny design so he mirrored it on the other side and came up with a symmetrical design for the hood. He just says it was a big happy accident. A lot of people say that he had a lot more to do with it than that but that's kind of how it started. The way I got into it was uh, through the custom scene. Me and my buddies have a car club and we build custom cars and we do everything ourselves. We're really lowbrow, like what a lot of people call old school and do it yourself. Rat rods for the people that don't know, but you do it at home and you do everything yourself. I painted my car, I did the bodywork on my car, I customized my car, so you, you kind of have to get into everything. And we flame painted a car for my friend. And when you do a flame paint job to finish up the edges, it's nice to do a, a pinstripe outline to kind of finish up the paint edges because the paint will be ragged and it has a raised edge after you finish your tape layout. So you want to outline things with a pinstripe and it just gives it a good final touch. And we asked the local pinstriper how much it would be to outline our paint job and he said it was about $300. And that's how much the, the car that we had bought cost, you know, so we weren't, we were a bunch of young kids and we weren't ready to shell out the same amount of money for the car for a paint job. So we kind of just left it at that, it's unfinished, didn't look right, but we'd been going to car shows and seeing pinstripers all the time and, and one of my friends, uh, seeing that I had a little bit of artistic talent, uh, nominated me to be the pinstriper for the club. So he bought me pinstriping brushes. It came as like an introductory kit. It was two cheap pinstriping brushes, probably $4 a piece, and two cans of paint, white and red. And that's where I started. I got them, it was kind of like a surprise, and uh, I just tried them out. I mean, I kind of had a little bit of knowledge that I got in magazines, kind of set me off in the right way. And then just reading the directions on the paint, it'll show you how to mix the paint and things like that. And that's how I started off. I started off painting my car. I have a 65 Thunderbird and that became the first car that I ever pinstriped and the first thing I ever pinstriped. And when I started, it wasn't a pinstripe design like the ones you see me do now. It was just a copy of a sticker that had a couple little monsters and stuff and I just outlined it with that paint. And so that was the first time I ever used a pinstriping brush. Right after that, I got a little more uh, comfortable with it and I started trying pinstriping on my car and it looked horrible, but I had a good grasp of art basics that I learned in school, so I, I measured things out and I did sketches and I got everything just the way you would do normal art and I started pinstriping on my car and I started practicing and my car eventually ended up being completely covered with pinstriping but that's that's where I learned how to pinstripe and I've been doing it ever since for all my friends motorcycles cars and people bring me stuff all like mailboxes shoes and whatever I can get my hands on I'll, I'll pinstripe you know and, I, I don't pinstripe any of my own stuff because I really don't like it too much. It's, it's kind of a funny thing. I, I love pinstriping and I love decorating things, but I end up like getting sick of it and I don't want to see it on my own stuff. <laughs> but I'll pinstripe anything. The name of this song is the Jet Tone Boogie. Take one.